It was an icy day on the island of Sodor. The engines were working very hard. They didn't mind the cold because they had toasting hot fireboxes to keep them warm. That evening, the engines were waiting in the sheds. Said Percy eagerly, and Junior walked away. Splatter and Dodge weren't too happy about this. Percy whistled nervously. Don't be so silly, you green caterpillar. Jack Frost is not scary. Then Splatter and Dodge oiled away. They knew Jack Frost was nothing but rubbish. But poor Percy wasn't too sure. Meanwhile, Splatter and Dodge were on their route. Silly Percy, they thought. Getting his couplings in a twist all because of Jack Frost. Percy made his last delivery. The station master was pleased to see him. So Percy's driver parked him in a signing with only a lamp for company. Percy's driver and fireman left to go to bed. Later that night, the icy wind howled. It started to snow. Soon, Percy's face was so cold, an icicle hung from his nose. Now he really is Jack Frost. Soon enough, Splatter and Dodge were on their way back home to the sheds. In the fog, they saw strange and lengthy shapes. Scary Jack Frost. Scary? Frost! They cried. They tried to race away as fast as their wheels could carry them. But little did they know the rails were slippery and Splatter and Dodge slipped off the rails right into a snowfield near Percy. Ah, scary Jack Frost will get us! Why didn't we listen to Thomas and Toby's advice? The next morning, George the Steamroller came in with the extra coal, and Henry came with the cranes. Percy was cross. He didn't say anything because his mouth was frozen shut. The firelighter started Percy's fire. Soon Percy's Jack Frost mask melted away. When Percy arrived at the shed, Splatter and Dodge were bragging to the other engines. I, uh, saw Scary Jack Frost last night. Then everyone blew their whistles with laughter. Splatter and Dodge were embarrassed, but eventually gave in. Percy's whistle was the loudest of all.